Oh Lord, pull up in that 04 pedal to the metal, says she want to hit the floor more. You, you know what? Uh, given the death of NFL legend Dan Reeves over the weekend, I, I, I've been thinking about something. Dan Reeves coached the Atlanta Falcons for seven years up until the end of the 2003 season. And Dan Reeves is a guy who took the Falcons to their very first Super Bowl. Remember that? It was back in 1998. Then they get to the Super Bowl and then it's, it's Eugene Robinson. Google. Right, and then the only other time that the Falcons made it to the Super Bowl, 2016, that was the other Dan in charge back then. Dan Quinn. They, they get to that Super Bowl and then 28-3. Then, then to 3. I don't think you need to Google that. All right. So, but here's my point. Um, if you could stand before the football gods and had a choice of either, let's say, 1998, getting rid of Eugene Robinson to say, hey, just let this just go away. Or 2016, 20-3, just tell the football gods and act like that never existed. So we can see how it would play out. You know, the 1998 Super Bowl without that and the 2016 Super Bowl without that. If you had to pick one, which one would you pick? Now I want to tell you which one I'm going to pick. Without a doubt, you, you got to go with... You, I'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, subscribe to Atlanta Sports Unlimited right here for the best coverage of any Atlanta sports team. Also, we're sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks, the best fantasy game going. You can pick the two to five players, mix and match between the NBA, the NFL, college football, whatever you want to do. And the only thing you got to do is put in the promotion code of ASU as in Atlanta Sports Unlimited. Do it. You'll enjoy it. All right, now, getting back to this. 1998, Eugene Robinson, Vanish, or 2016, no 28 to 3, if the football guys were in charge. And I'll tell you how I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to give you my answer. I mean, it's a clear cut answer. I'll give my answer in a minute. But, but, but I'm going to start by bringing in somebody named David Sheely. Okay? I, I texted David Sheely earlier uh, today. David Sheely is one of the, the biggest Atlanta Falcons fans I know. David Sheely is 20 something. Okay? And, and David Sheely. He has his own uh, his his own YouTube channel, and and, and it's called Five Wars Deke. All right, and get this: the NFL 2K5 Falcons are the defending Super Bowl champions on his site. So, so you you want to check that that, that out? So, what I asked David, you know, I, I said, David, when it came to that 2016 team, give me your four top moments. You know, could be a game, could be a player, could be players, could be anything. Okay, give me a four top top moments. And since I'm <clears throat> just a little bit older than David Sheely, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the four top moments as I see it from that 1998 team. And then after this, I'm going to tell you which one I would pick between 1998 and 2016 to have the, the football guys erase either Eugene Robinson, Google, or 28-3. Okay, all right. So, and no, no particular order. Well, actually... That's number one for me. But anyway, at this point, no particular order. I, I, let's, start with, let's start with this. Back then in 1998, in the NFC Championship game, those Falcons beat the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota. Let me tell you about that Minnesota Vikings team. It was considered one of the greatest teams in the history of the National Football League. Okay, Up to that point, no team had ever managed as many points as that team. You know, they had Randall Cunningham, a quarterback, going nuts. Receivers, Chris Carter. Ever heard a guy named Randy Moss? Robert Smith at running back. Then on defense, John Randall. Yeah, that John Randall who's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He led that defense. Yeah, I mean, they, they were just unstoppable. The Falcons beat them. All right. So, so David, one of his top four uh, picks was, he says, uh, that for that team back in 2016, he said, beating the Packers, in the NFC Championship game and closing the Georgia Dome out. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, okay, that's okay. So, uh, <clears throat> next on my list, top four. Top four. Hey, this is my third thing. Third thing. The Dirty Bird. <laughs> Remember that 1998 team? They did Dirty Bird. I, I didn't do it, but but they did, you know, everybody in Atlanta loved doing that. Okay? So, <clears throat> on David's list, he's got 
Matt Ryan's 500 yards, just back in 2016, you know, highlights of 2016, 2016 season, you know, when he went to Super Bowl. Uh, David says, Matt Ryan's 500 yards and Julio Jones 300 yards versus Carolina. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, third thing on my list. Did I mention the Dirty Bird? I got to say it again because you know what? Dan Reeves, he was as old school as they get. All right. After the Falcons won the NFC Championship game over, over Minnesota, he was up on the platform doing the Dirty Bird with the rest of his players. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta put them that in there twice. All right, Dirty Bird twice, okay. But David said for that 2016 team when we talk about the top four highlights, he said sweeping the Saints, Deion Jones pick six in New Orleans was huge. Yeah, I guess it was. <clears throat> but and the final thing, and this actually is number one on my list, okay, about that 1998 team. I was talking about Dan Reeves. I mean, Dan Reeves in December had quadruple bypass heart surgery. Think about that. And three weeks later, he was back on the sidelines coaching his team to the Super Bowl. Whoa. All right. So the fourth thing that, that David Sheely had on this list from that 2016 team that made that such an enjoyable season Tevin Coleman's game against Denver. He almost didn't play because of sickle cell. Uh, let's see. Quadruple bypass heart surgery, sickle cell. Interesting. Um, gee, I wonder which one I'm going to take. The 1998 Falcons or the 2016 Falcons? This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Hell 